me in the video I'll show you from me just freshly washing my hair to how I achieve like my little pineapple curly whatever with my visor and then in the next video I'll show you how I did the makeup in that picture so if you want to see how I got my hair like this keep watching all right so prior to filming this video I did wash and deep condition my hair and then I used this um, t-shirt to dry my hair instead of using a towel. I feel that this helps my curls come out a little better and it also prevents breakage. Now I'm going in with the Cantu Curl Activating Cream, which you don't have to do this step. I just feel like it's really necessary for me because I like my curls to be super curly and defined in the end. But if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. You can just go straight into using the gel but I use this. If you do use this, make sure to really work this product in your hair or it will get cakey. And then that just ruins the whole style overall. Now I'm just making sure that all the little sections are curly and there's not really any stray, straight areas, which I found one and I just kind of curled it on my finger to get it to be curly. Now I'm going in with the Eco Styler argan oil type gel uh, mine was $2.99 from my local beauty supply store but I believe they cost like way more than this at other stores but I will link all the products that I use in this video down below including the lashes that I have on in this video I'll put them all in the description box below and where to get them from so you can get all the products at a reasonable price but now I'm just going in with the eco styler gel around the perimeter of my hair and I'm using a soft bristle brush to smooth the front portion of my hair and then I will go do the same process on the back of my head. Um, this process is like absolutely necessary for this look to look as neat as possible. If you don't want your hair to look neat and smooth, you don't have to do this, I guess, but it works the best. And then, the, like I said, the curl activating cream does get cakey and it gets cakey in the brush as well. So you wanna kind of wipe that off the brush so you're not just brushing like old product back into your hair, especially if you just washed it. Now I focus on smoothing the front down a lot um, compared to the back because the front is really what you're gonna see. Since I'm putting a visor on, and I'm gonna end up putting a visor on, the back isn't really that big of a deal, but I still like it to be slick because you can still see like the top half of the back, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's always vital to smooth down the back part of your hair. And it makes it easier in gathering up your hair. So here I'm starting to gather my hair from the back. And this is the hardest part of the whole style because it's really hard to brush and hold your hair at the same time. Um, it's really thick at this point and it gets really hard. And instead of using a hair tie, I use a hair a hair band a headband just kidding I use a headband instead of a hair tie um, I know mine is bright blue you're not gonna be able to see it once I put my hair in the pineapple this is why I use this one but I use a headband instead of a hair tie because they're thicker and they hold my hair in place better they don't get loose or anything now you can go as high or low as possible with this pineapple um, this is where I choose to go with my pineapple, but it really depends on you. Now here I double up my headband to make it easier to put on my ponytail because if you just do it the regular way, you'll be turning it a bunch of times, if that makes sense. Here I only had to do two turns, which it really before, but it only took me two because I doubled it up. Typically, I would get a small curling iron and kind of curl the little stray straight sections that are hanging down lower than the other ones. But for today, I just didn't feel like doing that, but you can do that if you please. Now I'm laying down my baby hairs. Oh my gosh, I wish I could talk today. I'm laying down my baby hairs with a toothbrush. And no, this is not the toothbrush I brush my teeth with. That'd be really gross. This is just a hair toothbrush that I use only for my baby hairs whenever I slip them down um, you can use edge control but I use eco styler gel in this case because it holds 
my baby hairs down a little bit longer and it gives it a smoother look um, you can skip this step if you're gonna put a hat on as well but um, I like doing this step so yeah and if you don't have baby hairs you don't have to force them down um, this step isn't like necessary and this is the way I style my baby hair um, everyone does theirs differently this is just how I like mine to look normally Now I'm just going to throw on my Jamaica visor, but you don't have to throw on a hat if you don't want to. This was just my preference. And this is pretty much the final look. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. Yes.